Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ramami. Last week I made a video about reinventing yourself before 2024 and just some things to do before the new year begins. Everybody loved the video and I really enjoyed seeing you all's comments. And I love that everybody is talking about reinvention and everybody's like into transforming their entire lives, but I feel like we don't talk all about it. Like I know we get super excited about new things, just like if you're a child and you get a new toy you're super happy and you just have that dopamine rush going on because it's something new it's something that you're not used to I think that that is our mindset when it comes to reinvention so we're super happy we're super excited because we're about to transform our lives we're about to become completely different people but we also really have to think what does it take for me to get there nobody really talks about that even in the video that I made last week I didn't really talk about every single thing I just gave you different ways to reinvent yourself before the new year. But today I really want to talk about what that is going to take. We all love newness, but newness does wear off. Everything is not going to be new forever. You're going to get bored with it. It's going to become familiar, similar to when people start New Year's resolutions in January and by March, they're not on it anymore. Starting new things and reinventing yourself is not always going to be easy and just like butterflies and rainbows. It's going to take some hard work. And if you go into your reinvention, journey without doing that hard work and without really knowing what it's going to take you may revert back to your old ways and I don't want that happening so I'm gonna split this video up into different chapters and then I also have some timestamps so you can click through but of course I want you to watch the entire video and before we get into the video please make sure you subscribe to my channel y'all I just hit 2,000 subscribers and I'm so happy one of my older videos ended up going viral so if you're new here thank you for subscribing and if you've been here thank you for subscribing as well now let's get into it chapter one letting go when you are reinventing yourself you have to let go of your previous life and it sucks sometimes like sometimes you don't want to leave those people behind you don't want to leave those habits behind you don't want to leave those environments behind but those people habits and environments are not going to serve you in this next chapter of your life when we talk about reinvention and reinventing ourselves it's because we want to move from point a to point b or point b to point c but the things that got you to point a are not going to get you to point b or point c they were just for point a with you like trying to drag them along to each destination is not gonna work or you just aren't really gonna reach that destination if you keep carrying that baggage with you a song that i truly love it is like one of my favorite songs it's on my on my top 10 my top five list erica badu bag lady if you've never heard the song i'll just go through it really quickly she says bag lady you gonna hurt your back dragging all them bags like that i guess nobody ever told you all you must hold on to is you i love that all you must hold on to is you you cannot bring everybody with you and of course i'm not saying cut everybody off in your life but do a deep dive and really look at the things that you are entertaining in your life and see if it needs to go to the next destination with you make a list of friends who have i been hanging around and how has that impacted my life make a list of environments where do i be going where do you be going on friday night saturday night sunday night is it serving you or is it hindering you are you going out partying with your friends every weekend every week day and then you're not getting any work done but you say you have all these goals but you're not really doing the work to get those goals accomplished really think about that and think about what you need to let go and in letting go I don't want you to get the idea that you're never going to think about previous chapters of your life because I hear a lot of people say that like oh let it go don't think about it obviously you're a human being and you have a memory you might think about different chapters of your life but don't sulk in those chapters like oh i miss this i wish when this like i wish this could be like this you can think about a time in your life and appreciate it for what it was and then continue to move on yes you may have had fun in 2015 2016 2017 but we're not there anymore so appreciate the good memories and keep it moving you can't sulk in who you used to be and what you used to do like you can't just sit there and i don't want to be that person that's like you always need to keep getting better because i don't really subscribe to hustle culture anymore 
but hustle culture can give us a little bit of insight into how we need to move a little bit in the world like you don't always have to be on go doing something but you should always be moving forward and not regressing and moving backwards the plan for this reinvention is to only look ahead and not behind and even if you remember what's behind you remember it and then keep it moving chapter two discipline in this reinvention journey, you need to work on discipline because it's going to take discipline to get you to where you want to be. And then it's going to take discipline to stay there and elevate. That's one thing I love about myself. I've always been a disciplined person and it's always helped me out in life. A lot of people ask me, how do I stay so disciplined? Mainly with fitness and with content creation. So many people ask me that. How do you always feel motivated to go to the gym? How do you always feel motivated to post content? I don't feel motivation. I may feel like a hint of motivation, like, oh, I'm so excited to do that but that's not what gets me to the gym and that's not what makes me pick up my phone and start recording I have discipline I know what I need to do as far as the gym I know how I want my body to look and then I know how I want to feel in in the world and then as far as content creation this is my job I don't have the opportunity to not pick up the phone and record and then also for the gym y'all know I say this in every video if you watch my videos I'm a personal trainer shameless plug follow me at glow with throw fitness and I'm gonna leave everything uh, in the comments in the description box so that you can get my workout plans or my meal plans and you can always use the code YouTube for a discount but yeah I'm a personal trainer like I'm an entrepreneur I don't really have the luxury of not having discipline there's nobody telling me to clock in to clock out there's nobody writing my checks it all depends on me so if I'm not disciplined none of this gets done furthermore I know that I have a purpose on this earth if I don't make this video I may not motivate somebody else you know what I mean like my purpose is to help people and if I don't stay disciplined in that purpose so many people may not do a lot of things I never know who's watching this video and who's listening so that's really what you got to think about when it comes to this reinvention journey you have to remain disciplined because you never know how your discipline can impact other people you don't know who you're supposed to help but you're sitting around waiting on motivation you may not be motivated all the time and this is the example that I like to give are you motivated to brush your teeth like I don't know you may get excited about it but you're not like oh gotta brush my teeth you know what I mean like you just know that you need to brush your teeth before you go out into the public it's the same thing with your goals you know what you have to do so keep that discipline reinventing yourself is not about doing something one time and then you're a completely new person it takes so long to become a, a specific kind of person it took you a long time to become the person that you are today it took months weeks years of different habits so now reinventing yourself has has to become a habit that new skin routine that you're doing has to become a habit it's not just a seven day reinvention challenge it's not just a 30 day glow up it's a habit now drinking your water needs to be a habit exercising needs to be a habit if you want to be a content creator creating content needs to become a habit this is not a one-time thing that you do and your life just you know becomes amazing the the successful people that you see in life they're doing the same thing every single day they're working on themselves they're working on their business they're working at their job whatever it is as you do you need to have discipline and stop waiting on motivation and a person that I love listening to his name is Bedros Koulian I listen to him whenever I'm at the gym because I I'll be meeting somebody in my ear like that but he is like so hardcore and he always just talks about if you don't remain disciplined you're not gonna be anybody he says it a little bit rougher than that but you're not going to be who you want to be you're going to be a mediocre person if you don't have discipline you're gonna be like everybody else no offense most of the people that you know what are they doing they're doing the same thing that they've always done the the average person is going to remain average if you don't want to be average you need to have discipline point blank period chapter three adjusting and imposter syndrome when it comes to becoming a brand new person, you are gonna feel some imposter syndrome. You're gonna feel like a fraud, but you're not a fraud. Other people may also feel like you're a fraud. That, that doesn't matter either. Like when you are adjusting into this new person that you are becoming, there are so many people from your past or even your present that are gonna be like, you know, who do you think you are? She used to do this, why she doing this now? It doesn't matter. You have to continue and you just have to adjust. And you also have to remember, people are going to be haters. I just 
just told you that the average person is going to be average. So those average people that are judging you, they're going to remain the same the entire time. Like the entirety of their lives, they, they may make two to three small changes in their life, but they're pretty much going to be the same. And if you listen to them, you are also going to be the same. So as you start adjusting into this new era of your life, you have to remember that you have to keep going no matter what, no matter if people are talking about you, no matter if people think you can't do it. And don't internalize what people are saying because that's when the imposter syndrome starts to kick in. Sometimes you low-key have imposter syndrome without anybody ever saying anything, but we'll get to that soon. Don't internalize what people are saying about you because then that's when you start thinking like, damn, don't nobody like what I'm doing or maybe I shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing this. And people talking about you is a key indicator that you are leveling up because now they see you as a threat. And I'm not saying that you wanna, you know, be a threat to everybody, but it happens when you the shit. Sometimes people are not gonna like you and there is nothing that you can do about it and it is what it is. Now let's talk about imposter syndrome that you are causing yourself. When you really start glowing up and you start leveling up, you are going to have a little bit of self-sabotage that wants to, you know, bring you back to the past. Don't let it. And I'm not above feeling these feelings either. Like sometimes I even be like, damn, you know, do people watch my videos? Do people like my videos? Then I have to remember like, girl, even if they didn't, just keep going. Because like I said, discipline. It doesn't matter who's watching. It doesn't matter who's liking, who's commenting. You have to keep going no matter what. And when I start to feel imposter syndrome kicking in, I always have to go back and look at how far I've come. Like I even had a little bit of imposter syndrome when it came to YouTube. I've been making YouTube videos for years, but this is the first time that like I've really been consistent. And you know, like I said, my channel is growing. I just hit 2000 subscribers, but prior to that i was just like mm, like should i call myself a youtuber you know like i just make youtube videos i don't want to promote them and i just had a talk with myself literally the other day and i'm like girl your channel is growing people like what you are doing stop talking yourself out of promoting your channel on your socials because i get so nervous to promote this channel on my social medias but now i'm forcing myself to do it because i'm like you can't sit in imposter syndrome forever you want to be a youtuber you want to make this a uh, you know part-time thing you have to act like it. If you think you're an imposter, then everybody's gonna think you're an imposter. So as you're leveling up and you're reinventing yourself, just remember you are who you say you are period. And overall, I just want you to remember that this is a lifelong process. No, you're not going to constantly be reinventing yourself, but you're constantly getting older each day, literally. You're going to constantly be growing and you're going to constantly evolve. And sometimes you're going to have some setbacks. It's life. Everything is not going to be perfect. And like progress is not linear. It's going to go up and down and that is also okay. But even if you fall off, I don't want you to stay off. If you fall off, just start right back where you were. I didn't make this video so that you would never fall off again because like I said, it's life. But I do want you to remember that, like I said, we always have to keep moving forward no matter what, no matter how you are feeling, no matter what happened today just keep going you can do this you can become exactly who you want to be you can do the things that you want to do you have to believe in yourself and you have to keep going every single day thank you so much for watching this video again please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on instagram i'll leave all the socials and everything below and i'll also leave my business so you can grab a workout plan a waist trainer a meal plan whatever you need and like i said you can use the code youtube for some money off i will see you in my next video